They, they figured out artificial intelligence, they figured out consciousness, they figured out how the universe works. And then their technology, their computer technology, uh, it's so advanced, you know, they, they, they figured out quantum computing. It's so advanced that they've created artificial general intelligence, right? Right. Which is pretty much, if you're artificial general, it's like 100% consciousness. You know all the secrets of the universe. You know, you know about future, you know about the past, you know how to time travel. All that stuff is solved. So their thing is that this civilization of aliens came and created a simulation, a computer simulation where we can, we, as it, it's what they're saying is us in the future, you know, that created a simulation, right? And then we're going back to an ancestor, an ancestor simulation to experience how it was to live back in the day, right? And that's what the simulation, but what, what, the, what they're saying is that, let's say they, they created that, right? A long time ago, billions of years ago, right? And then that's that those people inside the simulation they got to the same level where the aliens are right people in the future <clears throat> so they they figured it out and they created their simulation right and then after that those people right there they went in and they created this let me, so it's like how many levels let, let me let me right. stop you right there because i i know we're about to go deep down into this rabbit hole and i know that um uh, to a lot of people that just right. tuned in right now they're probably going like what the hell are they what, talking, what are you about? talking about right first of all welcome to disowned another episode right. i am your host Ali legend judas lewis lewis actually right. but aka judas, judas is right sitting in for farah farah couldn't make it today um and uh, and i know that you and i we already like usually when we get together right. we just start going down these rabbit holes rabbit you know? holes we like to talk about space uh, just, just so that just people because i know you right. you you were here before yes. and some people had a little bit of had a few comments about okay. what you were right, saying right. you know okay. why don't you give everybody a little bit about your background like you know where you know where you went to school and you know yeah, where, okay where, yeah basically i've always been into science um i'm, I'm a pretty much a physicist scientist at heart I went to SC, you know, so this is something I've always like kept up with, you know. With, You're a USC graduate. Yeah, Stephen Hawkins and all that stuff. And to where, where, where cosmology and, and, and physics is right now. And we figured out that Einstein was wrong. Quantum mechanics is right. But at the same time, quantum mechanics isn't the full well, picture. Hold on a second. Right. Because but when you're saying Einstein was wrong. wrong. That's Space time is fake. And that's what everybody's starting to realize right now. That well, okay, hold on, because right. it's virtual. might be going a little bit fast. Some of our right. you know audience might be listening to this like, right. well, what are they talking about? You know, <laughs> anything that we're looking at in regards to science right. or any type of progress that we're making in science is all right. based off of Einstein. You know, yes, like, right. So, right. So let me I mean, explain to you. So 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 for example, let, let's go back who, to who do you mean by when you say like you know people are starting to realize like oh, all, all, all the big physicists are starting to realize that space time is flawed. What what Einstein came up with, it works Which on a certain limit. At the same time, do you guys remember Newton before Einstein? You know the guy. You know the, the apple fell from the tree. You know and he, the guy that originally created gravity. That theory does work within speed limits right okay. within a framework of, of a it, it, it it's a theory it's a model right it works but they're they're not the they're not the real model because the one true model should work for everything across space time right it should explain everything and then that's the big problem with theory like einstein too, yeah his space time theory it works under the certain limits of of speed that we're talking about and, and size of the universe of, of the scale right but einstein's theory crashes at the very very small and that's where quantum mechanics right. works but quantum mechanics on the very very large scale crashes itself so those theories don't jive and they don't connect so you know i was listening to neil degrasse right. tyson right. on uh, uh the joe rogan podcast right. and he was actually saying that when we went to the moon mm -hmm. we only used uh newton's Exactly. We didn't even use right. uh, Einstein's yeah, Einstein. because there was no there was no need, need for it. No need for right. it because you're not going fast enough. Right. Right. To, to, to be able to affect Einstein, so it it's when you get laws. to certain speed limits. That's crazy. Where, where right? Einstein's so 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 that that, that see all, all that stuff, uh, the, the speed of light, all those cons. It's like if you think about the universe, it's so perfect. Everything just fits in right. Everything just like fits in a puzzle piece. So logic is telling people that. You know, this is all the clues that we are in a simulation, because all simulation, it's all calculated. Everything's exact, perfect. You know, there's no 
So it it, it, it just it all fits too elegantly, you know, to say that so, we're not in a simulation. So you know, when when we're talking about simulation and simulation theory, you know, so I I mean, well, I what's guess, the purpose of it, right? Like, uh, well, first of all, so you know, just people understand, you know, right. there, there's a there's a theory emerging out there amongst a lot of scientists. That exactly. is speculating that you know this existence is nothing more than a simulation, basically. Yes. Um, so it's like a, like the Matrix, like the yeah, movie Matrix. Yeah, it, it, it's virtual. It's not real. At the end of the day, the theory says that the only well, thing that's fundamental. There's a lot of questions. Is consciousness. Okay, so there's a lot of questions that come to right. mind if right. this is. Uh, I mean, again, I and and this is just basically oversimplifying it but this is it's supposed to be like a very advanced version of sim city you know exactly like right a very, yeah, very advanced version think about know? it a, a, a version of sim city where not only your right. vision's connected but your ears your right senses, and, and i'm sure we're your, all your five it. senses are connected into a 3d matrix right? and i'm sure we're oversimplifying right it. i'm sure there's a 3D lot more, holographic matrix right? you know science that goes into you know, explaining right, that and, and, and think about it. In order to run this type of something, you you need the computing power that that we don't yet have. So we don't have the energy to produce the, those computing powers. To, so to there's create a lot such of questions. Simulation like the Earth. There's a lot of and questions that come to mind right. when when I personally. I mean, again, I'm not a scientist. I mean, I right. am into these kinds of things, and I watch a lot of the stuff you send right. me, and I read a lot about the stuff you send me. But personally, I would say, first of all, what is the purpose of a simulation? You know, right. what is the evidence, you know? Right, okay. Because, um, I mean, okay. I know that there's... The some purpose, the evidence. What is the purpose, what is the evidence, and, it, like, it, this would suck for somebody that is, like, imagine on this planet, people are right. suffering, yes. you know, legitimately right. suffering, you right. know, and, and and not to get too far off the topic, but I talk to my friends about this all the time, Yeah. and I always say that we live in a bubble over here, you know, right. like, we... We think we know what suffering is, or we think we know what um, um, loss and and you know feeling hopeless is. And now, now, mind you, I know that there are some people right. here that have it rough in the United States. Right. You know, and I'm not saying that, right. but I'm saying, you know, when you think about all this brutality that is going on around the world, you know, like did you know there's there's slavery in Libya still yeah, going on? Like you know, I right. mean people were like I saw videos, people were like shackled up, you know. Um so I mean and this is one example. Like even countries like China, look at what's happening in Ukraine and you know, you know, but, Russia. You know, and I think so, I know well, where you're going. Here's with this. what I'm okay, saying. Right. All right. With this type of brutality you know that's happening all why across allow it the in world, the simulation you know? why allow it why, like, why 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 is it now mind happening? you my, now mind you you know right. again our point of view could be viewed as very arrogant because we're sitting here and you know it could be like yeah. okay we're just making judgment you know because at the end of the day you're going to your house i'm going to my house we both eat you know we both have families you know what i mean like right. so we're not really like in, in in you know we're not in a state of suffer or like trauma or anything you know so it's like why would we be in a simulation where we with have trauma so much <laughs> trauma so much right. negativity you know like so well, much let me ask you something okay you're, you're, what, what's the game you're for you sim city right yeah so why would you play vice city or grand theft auto i like grand where you theft have auto. all this trauma and all these crazy things happening because it's it. fun okay okay so if, if you were a, a spiritual being having a human experience wouldn't you want to try that kind of video game you know <sighs> where things are not like perfect and so what you are you know, saying? Like serial killers are just like yeah, bro. It, it, it's, like it's part. It's like having a good time in this. You know, life. the same way you have different tastes for different movies, for different video games. You know, sometimes you might you might want to play a happy video game, or sometimes you want to play a crazy ass video where you're shooting everybody and killing everybody. You maybe you want to come back into the simulation and be a serial killer, and kill everybody. Those are the games that you you as a, a spiritual being that lives. For eternity. But why and, and as a spiritual so this, this being is an would you want to like come here to cause this type of chaos? I mean, what's but, so but, spiritual but it, about it, that? If it's virtual, then it's not real, right? So this whole but, thing... Yeah, the, the, the reality is that the only thing that's as, as fundamental is consciousness. And we are just like, this is the vehicle. This is just like the avatar, you know? We're avatars uh, in this virtual reality that we're playing, you know, within this video game. And... Obviously, think about it like this, you know, you're, you're a spiritual being, I'm going to come in this video game, now there's probabilities, everything's based off probability at the quantum level, 
right? Okay. Nothing's nothing's uh, exact and nothing's real. That that's why that those are some of the signs right there why everything is simulated, why it's made up made up of information and not you know r r real like particles, which, which is everybody's confused by, you know, because okay. that, the, I'm not going to get into that right now, but it's a whole, uh, that'll be a whole other rabbit hole. But just, 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 just think about my assumptions of, you know, where I'm talking about this is that at the very smallest scale, at the very smallest, tiniest levels, everything right there, it, it, it's information, it's energy, you know, that, that, that creates information. I mean, you know, and again, I'm I'm right. conflicted about the whole thing. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm you know sometimes I I'm understand. like you know what this is a simulation. Sometimes I'm like no, this but, is this so, is but, God. Yeah, but let me real. turn it around and, and 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 ask you a question. What would be the purpose of being here if 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 we follow that whatever religion says? You know, the fact that what we come here, we, we're here for we don't know what reason why we're here, and then we go to heaven for to do what? Well, if you uh, on a, from a religious right. aspect, right. you know, most religions, right. you know, say we have to basically we have to suffer here, and we have to pay our debts or whatever here, right. so but to, to say, to go and to, to a so place where you're going to live forever and then live it's in eternity. It's going to be boring. Well, it depends on which right? heaven you go to. It, it, it depends it, on which. Right, right. But if, if everything's good, like I say, if everything, trust me, that all gets boring, bro. It's like. If we're living forever, we're spiritual beings. We come here to get like a thrill. You know, the way we, the same way we go to a movie or we play a video game, we want the difference. You know, that we want that excitement. You know, as as, this as a being that lives. Yes, right. This this 3D because I what can feel pain. What did you say earlier? We're spiritual beings. We're having spiritual a human beings having experience. a human experience. That's the video game. That okay. Playing. You know. Well, now, I mean, now there may be other planets, other universes that are maybe easier, and and things are much much easier, but. For, from studies and from all the research that I've done and, and, and the people that talk about, you know, th this kind of stuff, Earth is really one of the hardest simulations that there is out there. So anybody that's here, anybody that's here, right now, any spiritual being is, is really, you know, hardcore. They really want the hardcore experience. So, you know, when, you I, know? when, I, when I think about, like, our reality, right? right? Um, it's based on our senses, right? Okay, so right. we have, like, five it, exactly, senses. Exactly, okay. right. So, which, which, and which again... Is, Fabricated inside so our brain. Saying. So right? it, it's our we brain have five creating, senses creating that the simulation, creates right? yeah. our reality. All yes. of us, right? Some have a sixth sense, you know, whatever. No, but you know, whatever we but, call three D. Uh, but for the most part, reality, everybody, you know, yes, you know, has everybody five right, senses. is you know, connected. You taste, uh, yeah. Smell. Yeah, eyesight, the, the same you know, way that many different players online they play the same game and they're able to interact in a virtual city is 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 kind of like. What I, we're doing right here, I get right? that, but yeah. I'm saying like I know that all also each uh, senses right they're limited. So of I know course. like you know your 100%. brain is like you know a couple yeah. of percent. Your, your vision is limited. Your eye, your, yeah, your so everything you see limited. is only like two right. or three percent of whatever life like like I mean, yeah you can only see like a certain like, spectrum of a wave right that if there's so much so other there's stuff probably going on outside, so much right? more. That's why I always talk about like psychedelics that we're not seeing it. So are you seeing base reality? So that's why I feel like some psychedelics like mushrooms and stuff they they open up. Can stuff, open up they your, open up a part of your brain, exactly. like a frequency. That's why when you look at stuff, you're like, oh, wait well, a minute, well, this well, looks a little well, bit different. Think about what you're saying. You're just telling me right now that this but, is a simulation. Well, hold on. So right. what I'm right. saying, well, no, actually what I'm saying, I'm like, like, like when because, I take mushrooms you know, or something. What is reality? When I take mushrooms, right. right, I definitely, I definitely question my existence in this I do realm. too. I do too. But I also believe that something because I I believe okay again this is my belief. I believe that our brains yeah is like a biometric antenna. Yes. You know right. that okay. creates so it, it takes all of your senses and then it's like this program, you know, that goes and shoots off a bunch of, you know, like neurons. You're pretty and much, it you're, you're, you're this a computer program. Bro. Reality. And you're a robot. Your body is basically <laughs> the vehicle yeah, that saying, carries yeah. the brain. Like everything is about the brain. Your, your entire body is so that the brain survives. All the vital. So I get that, you know? Yeah. Um, but so I also feel like like you know a lot of times we get thoughts like we're like hey where'd you get that thought I don't know it just came where's to it, me where's you know? it so come like, from that's the question where's so it I feel like from, when right? I sometimes when I take so our brain is conditioned you know to be on a certain frequency yes. what well, your brain is so an I antenna like when you it's take like a radio like certain psychedelics right? you pick up the signals that that are that are not visible that you can right when right. you take certain psychedelics yeah. you know or even certain special people like when they're but, autistic but, but notice what the psych what one thing you know I notice is that you know like I said I haven't 
I said, you know, I haven't done shrooms in a long time, but I took a little cap I yesterday. I do about four grams every yeah, time. Yeah, and as well as it's been years, but I took a little cap. And then what I noticed right before I started feeling, you know, and, and like kind of questioning reality and, and, and thinking about all that stuff, I started getting this feeling inside here. Like my chakras were like, I started like this feeling, which Bro, opened up. if you up. do it with me, and you know? like one of these days, if you do it so, with me, you're going to have an out of body experience. Like it's going to be so amazing. No, no. It, Exactly. So, so that, that's well, that's where I'm, I'm going. Shaman. I'm going with that. Is that in order? You can do it without mushrooms, but you have to know how to. Met, and I was telling sure. you, know, you know, but I feel like emotions. those you know how to get into those emotions. It, it just it, it opens you up right real quick. It you does. see things different. Things just feel different, and it just makes you. Which, which, which is another hint that, it, that we're in a simulation, bro. So uh, right? okay, and th you might say that. Right. I would say like okay, maybe this is this existence, and then right. there's other dimensions, you know, that simultaneously. Okay, but, but I think this is where we're we're, we're kind of getting confused, and you draw the line. It's like you're seeing it like when I say it's that other dimension, that's another simulation. You understand? In order to create those dimensions, in order to create this reality, so you need something all the to dimension, power it. The entire so not, when I say, yeah, it's a similar, it's virtual, it, it's it's not real. Yeah, but it, it is real when you're in it. You understand? It's like it real because it, it's filled because with you emotion. Feel. Yeah, you feel it. So it is real, but at the same time, it's like if you think, yeah, there's actually particles. What I'm saying, there's no particles. It's all waves. It's energy that creates the illusion that this is solid. That I'm a particle, you know? So, and it comes down to what is the simulation here for? It's a playground for consciousness, right? Consciousness. And that's what we really are. What's fun, what's really real out there, what exists is consciousness. 100% conscious. There's consciousness that goes from all levels, from up to down. Even a rock has consciousness, a plant has consciousness. What we have is human level consciousness. What God is, is consciousness way, way, way above us that we cannot comprehend. That's what God is, and that's what controls the universe. That's what runs the simulation. Well, based on what you're saying, right. God is basically that entity that, that, that created that, that, this that highest, reality. The highest, yeah, exactly. The highest level of consciousness that exists is God. And what we are is we're a very advanced uh, uh, level of consciousness. We're biology that advances itself to, to a certain level where we're like... What do you think about like when we're, we... Yeah, we're like, we're aware, we're like, oh my God, we, we know that there's a God. We know that this could be a virtual well, reality. we don't know that. No, it's, it's that we know the possibility of it. Well, right? what, what possibility is that? The possibility that this could be... I mean, that's a faith-based you know, question. Like, you know, do yeah, you believe in something bigger than us out Exactly, I mean, but all the talking. evidence is, is pointing to us being in a virtual reality. That's the whole thing I'm, that, I, that I'm trying to point out and why a lot of physicists are changing their mind and why Einstein was wrong because at the end of the day there's no such thing they're, they're trying there's no god particle that they're fighting at you know with CERN and all that stuff the crashing stuff there is no god particle right it it, it, it goes talking about the hydron collider yeah yeah even Nassim Haramein he talked it, it just keeps going down to a level where everything is at that level is just it, it's going to be information is what they're discovering what do you mean by information it's, like it's a, data Data, yes, zeros and ones. It's what like it's made binary of. code. Binary code, right? Like it, the matrix. Matrix, right? And what's the matrix? It's the the the, the structure of space, which is that cube. Remember that sixty four tetrahedron. Tetrahedron, right? Right. Matrix right. Grid. The, yeah, the, the tetrahedron matrix grid. That's how you code information. How you store information to produce this virtual reality. But it's right. such an advanced level. Like, oh yeah, you're we cannot comprehend. That, so that that like like it's like so. And, 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 and this is what we're going with. What we're doing with artificial general intelligence. Intelligence. All this AI. Got to drink some water. <clears throat> Go ahead, bro. Excuse me. Go ahead. Go um, ahead. We're getting excited over here. All this AI, that all this advancements with the AI that's going on with Chat GPT and all that stuff. Which, I, I, by the way, I've been using and. By it's the way, amazing. you know they said uh, Chat GPT four is coming out. Yeah, and it's, it's coming to oh. smoke. Bro, let me just let's tell you this: that it's gonna be so good. I've been talking to Chat GPT three point five, and and literally it feels I've like I've used it a couple of times. Yeah, I'm talking to somebody; it can respond to you. I'm it, gonna start using it for the podcast. Actually. It's gonna replace a lot of work. Let me tell you, like it can program computers. It, oh yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, bro. I was listening to Lex Friedman. That yeah, guy, yeah, he, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I've listened to a lot of his podcasts so, too. So, um, yeah, he was talking about like the ChatGPT 4.0 that's gonna come out. It's gonna just smoke 
the 3.5 version, you know. Exactly. Um, I th what do you think about this whole AI thing? Like, you know, and, and what, what, how, what kind of a correlation does AI have with simulation? Okay, so that, that's what I was going to get into next. So what AI is... Let's get to it. All right. Is, I don't know if you guys heard of the singularity, right? What um, they call arti I heard general I artificial intelligence. It. General, it, it's, it's artificial intelligence at the highest level where it literally doesn't need us to to code anymore it it, it, it re it's conscious you know it it's it, 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 it's sentient 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 artificial AI. intelligence but, I mean, don't you need quantum computing yes and that's where we're know? going we already discovered that we i mean we we haven't officially announced it like we not yet but it, 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 it we do have the technology they're they're right now as we speak they're 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 working on that's going to change the world quantum computing the world. Of um, i know that quantum computing is gonna like because especially remember in the was saying industry. at the smallest 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 level everything is a probability right nothing's real so that's why another clue simulation it's a probability it's computed just like a computer it works just like a computer but i think like you know uh, okay so wait I have two, I have a right. question that's coming up, right. but I want you to answer my first initial question. So, what is the AI and uh, um, simulation they have in common? Is that general when AI becomes general artificial intelligence, it is it has the potential to figure out how this universe really works and create another simulation or another universe. You know. So, what is that going to do to our existence? What is it going to do? Well, we're, we're going to become like gods. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to become at the level of where, where, where God is. You know, it's like, so if hold, we on know the knowledge, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You're, you're yeah. going way too fast, bro. So <laughs> quantum computing comes right. along, mixes up with AI. With AI, And right. it's going to multiply things by a hundred. Like 100. it's going to oh, figure yeah, out yeah, right. how to Everything. cure diseases Everything. within like yeah. minutes. And yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. just figure things out that we... We couldn't Can't figure even, out yeah, in like thousands how, of years. It's of even going to figure out how to build right. certain machinery to attack right. certain problems. So, so, in other words, it's going to be at the level of God. Of that right. So, the quantum right. computing and the AI part mixed in, it's yeah. going to basically change. But it, it, it has the potential to reach God consciousness. Right. We only have human consciousness. Right. That's so, where we're, we're capped off at human is consciousness. That, so, it's, it can. Now, I can see if right. all of us get chipped with like Neuralink or right. something like that, and then it can upload itself into our chip or something the, like the, that. The question is, you know, like, I, I, I But agree. I mean, other than that, it, what kind of use would it have for us? If we would look at us like bacteria, like, you know. No, like, exactly. That's let me, the problem. It's like it's algae. Like, let me contain but, this but algae. But the universe is not, it, 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 it's not like biased for us. Like, it, we think that we're so special here. It's not meant just for us you know? i get that but i'm right. saying so I, I'm, I'm asking what so Maybe quantum there, computing there, there and could AI, be aliens out there that are way more advanced than us right that right the universe may you know make them more special than us we could be the bacteria bro right? no I, I get that but i'm right. saying like let's just say quantum computing right. and ai took over and right. it's basically like a god consciousness level so so what is that going to do to like my podcast what is that going to do to like your your uh, like everyday is, jobs i mean we don't know Right, that's a scary that's thought. It. Like it we don't know, really man. Look at it, like it could. I mean, I, on that I, I would level, think that the higher the consciousness, the more like evolve you become, and the more aware of like making. You know, it's like if you respect humans, you know, the people that created you, you're gonna like kind of work for them, and, and like you, you, you just, work for them. I'm not work for them, but at least like. I don't no. know. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to see. Bro, the if you're at that level it. of God conscious level, you're not going to work for anybody. You're going to look. No, but it's like it's, God, looking, it's, it's like saying, is God bad? You know, is, is God? You know, is if, if we're expression of God, you know, if we're a partition of God, you know, which is you know what what individuated units of consciousness are, which is us. But when we, you say are, God, are you talking about like in the religious context? No, I'm talking. No, I'm not talking about the man, the old man. I'm talking God when I refer to God. I refer to ultimate consciousness, uh, an awareness that knows everything, you know, an awareness that, that, that doesn't, that doesn't, you know, like we're aware, but to a limitation, it's just above a level that we cannot comprehend because we, we don't, we're kept off by human consciousness. The same way that a dog is kept off, kept off by dog consciousness, a plant is kept off by plant consciousness, as a rock is kept off by rock consciousness. The rock doesn't have consciousness. It does have consciousness. And let me mean? tell you why. Because all its atoms at least know, know to stay together and form that element. 
So there isn't, there is organization, there's structure there of code, of information, you know, which gives out meaning to create a rock. So it does have consciousness, it's atoms. Mm. It doesn't have human, co it can't be aware of itself. That, that, that's where we're, we're like, we're at that level, we're like in between. But like some in animals are not aware of themselves either. Some animals are not, but some are, like monkeys, chimpanzees. They're apes. You know, they're apes, right. They're aware of themselves. So that's already getting to that level where like, okay, your consciousness has evolved. You know, there was, uh, I was talking, right. um, what do you call those people that study apes? Um, um, they have a certain name, but they were saying like right. uh, the apes right. have officially entered the Stone Age because they're starting to use tools to gather food. I, I wouldn't doubt like it. They're showing yeah. orangutans like spearing because they're watching humans. I know, I, I, I get that. They're watching you know, but then we're, getting, we're getting into like, okay, are they going to eventually become like us? I don't well, know, I mean, man. I, 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 personally, I have my theory about that and I think, and I go back to the ancient alien theory where Aliens came here, seeded whatever hominid was here, walking straight to make the human race because we're such advanced, you know. It, it just like it happened in a period, of, you know, it, this should take millions and millions of years, but it happened in a much faster time than that. Are you talking about like uh, the Anunnaki? Yeah, coming in, I, I, I do believe in, in that, that there are biological entities within this universe that are so much more advanced than us, not, not to God level, but advanced uh, more advanced than us that they have created you know um if you, you watch um uh, ancient apocalypse yeah i've seen on that Netflix. One. Yeah, yeah um graham hancock basically right. talks about how like human civilization mm -hmm. has existed in the past for a very long right. time even before the ice age right and we've always hit a certain level of like you know, we exceeded right. everything, and, and then, then we just something would happen. Right? Like, like a but most of the time, it would right. be like a comet or something would hit a us. Comet or a big flood. Yeah, or something. like yeah, I mean, that's that, creates, that was yeah. that would always be the game changer. A rock that would hit the Earth at like forty thousand miles an hour, and, and it would and, just you know, we could it would be faced with the same fate. It, it would throw <laughs> right. everybody back yeah. into the Stone Age constantly. Right. So you know, he he talks about it a lot. A lot of other people talk about it too. Basically, where. Um, the last time this happened, right. you know, like we had reached a very, very high level of civilization and Egypt is a perfect example right. of that. And actually, I was listening to this other guy talking about Atlantis, how Atlantis, mm -hmm. um, you know, it didn't really sink to the bottom. Parts of it did, but there's parts of it that is still out there. Um, and he was showing it on the map and everything. But the point I'm trying to make is right. that he was basically trying to say that, you know, um, Egypt are... Like the people that build the pyramids right. are the survivors of Atlantis. So once like the destruction happened, a lot of the survivors that got you know cast away, some of them went to like Mexico, some of them went to Egypt, and they're all is like the same architect building the same structures, like the you know, and they were very advanced. But um, you know, once we hit that certain level, um, something would happen that threw us back into like we became barbarians again and we were just like all about yeah, like we you know lost just the, conquer and think, think about it until we hit that this cataclysm level that, that destroys the earth or you know that, that creates a mass extinction it's it's we're losing our, our our the consciousness that we evolved by information that we've gathered over years over time right, right. so us as a human if you think of yourself as a you know a certain you have a certain amount of consciousness where you have a certain amount of understanding of how everything works but there is a higher level of consciousness that we can physically see like the stock market um just us ourselves just the human race alone the knowledge that we have between all of us where we can create houses and buildings and and just all this science and all that stuff that comes from working together putting our our consciousness together to create a bigger consciousness right which, which is kind of where, where I'm, where I'm, I want to get into the, the, the whole part of, um, we're from the very small to the very large, but I'm, I'm just going to, we're going to, I'm going to take it to a whole other rabbit hole, but we might save that for Damn. another session if I come back, uh, you know, sometime, but, uh, we'll get into that. But, you know, going back to, I guess your, your, your first question about, um, uh, Nick Bostrom and why, you know, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, and for those people that don't know, Nick Bostrom, he's a scientist. Yeah, he's the guy, the guy that came up with the whole simulation the theory. Friedman, right. uh, podcast. Right. And, the, uh, the, the reason why his theory is flawed is because, remember, I, I was saying is that you go back to, and, and, and also Elon Musk saying the same thing, that we don't know where base reality is. 
But what, what, what is, to say what base reality is, what is that assuming? That there is one reality that's made out of particles and all the other ones are made out of zeros and ones of information. What does that mean? Of an information. Because uh, you got to break it like... Particles, like, like reality, like this physically exists. There's, there's a particle down there, right. you know, at the smallest scale that physically ex exists. Right. That's what Einstein and everybody thought. But that's what the new physicists right now are saying, no, it's not true. And then this is made out of, of if it's made physics. out of information, it's not real. You understand? It's, it's, it's created by a simulation. But if there was really a particle, then you would have that base reality, right? Which does not make sense. It contradicts each other. How you have one base reality and everything else is simulated? Doesn't make sense. You know, it just doesn't make sense. It, it, it's all neither. So instead of maybe thinking about all those levels of simulations, maybe this is just, think about a simulation like this of us in the future, right? Because we've conquered time in that, and it comes out of uh, quantum entanglement, which I'll leave for another episode. But it's the future and the past entangled together to create the present is what's happening. It's a very, 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 very weird concept. It's something that you cannot I, really comprehend. But I, the I future no and the past about. are entangled together as one. I have no idea what you're talking about. And that, you and, and that, and, and when you think about that theory, it explains people who are mediums, people who can see the future. How can you, you read the future? Because... The way we create the future is first in our thoughts, in our mind, you know, in order, in order to be somewhere in the future, in order to manifest your reality, which we're going to get into like the whole, the secret and all that stuff, it first has to be in your mind. So you create that virtual reality inside your mind, you experience it inside your mind to be able to get there in, in this physical reality and manifest it. That's why the power of thought and energy, it's so important for you to create your reality in the future. If you don't have that, you will never get there because that's how you're doing it is first in your mind. You create, it's like, remember God says, if you can you know, go back to the, we are a reflection of God. We are, we are a universe. Our bodies are a universe. If you go down to our atoms, those are all like, you know, it could be space, right? Even, even if you look at our brain, the neural network of our brain looks very similar to what the universe, the picture of the universe looks like in a grand scale. So what people are saying, that the universe, all the planets, all the black holes, everything put together, the big, it's a big brain that exists uh, on the grander scale, made up of everything that's, you know, all the smallest of the planet, even to us. And that's, con that's the greatest consciousness because all those neural networks are connected, you know, in space. So I mean, fuck. Um, Pretty crazy. Lewis but, yeah. uh, has a tendency for all his life. I've known him to basically like fucking brain fuck me every time. Because um, you, I, I'm, I'm not gonna sleep tonight right. basically because this kind of bums me out, bro. Yeah. So what does that mean? So our friendship is not real. So my love for my you, my kid and you, my you know what? And I, I, dog, I felt dog, the same way you parents, did. Like after coming into that so realization. So when somebody dies, you know, yeah, like exactly. so what? I'm gonna look at this person. Oh fuck it, you know what? This person wasn't real anyways. You know, like it's all good. Like you, you know, you know so what? So why feel? I mean, so that's where it's like. So why? You know what I mean? Like why give me the ability to feel? I mean, if that, I had but, the but understanding of like how the universe worked, then it's like, because look, death is the, the biggest, the yes. bi in my opinion, yeah. death is the biggest trauma and the biggest thing that you cannot come back from. Even when somebody close to you dies, all you can do is deal with it. All you can do is deal with the pain on a daily basis. But you let, know? let me just freeze you one second. But it's like, and, and this not is to mention, from, hold right, on, right. not to mention, listen, and again, we live in a bubble. But there's people out there, their family members get brutally murdered of course. or they right. die in a really bad natural, you know, accident or like, you know, uh, uh, they're on a boat or they're hiking or so. So I'm saying like, why? Why, you know, create that kind of turmoil for their family and friends and, you know, because, okay, but, you're done. You're erased out of this program. Right, right. But, 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 but because it's virtual. It does not matter because yeah, but it matters. The real look, look, here though, because you're identifying yourself to your body, 
You know, that my is mind my, is you, connected. My emotions. Right, you, you, you think I understand, and, and it's it's your limitation. So let me ask you because something. Because you're feeling it from human consciousness. Okay, let me ask something. Right, uh, you, you yeah. have a daughter. Yes. You love your daughter. Yes. You're a good father. Yes. I watch you. Right. And you, you're very involved. Yes. So what do you ex how do you explain that feeling you have for your daughter? You know, like what do you, you know, like it's real. Of course, it's real. So I, I'm not saying feeling. You know, it's like all that stuff is real. But outside to say me and my daughter, like when we come back, I, I, she could be my father next time. I get that. You but know? Well, what I'm so, trying so to say is the that real relationship is not here. It's, it's where out, out there. See, where, when you say spirit, out there, where, where, wherever that dimension is the, outside of, our, of what we're limited to. Right. So before we come here. Right. That's what exactly. You're right. That's the, that's, that's, that's another virtual reality, but it's more real than this one. Right? There's levels oh, of virtual Christ. realities. You go, but that one is more fundamental than this one. This, this is like at the lowest level, you know, at the, at the 3D level. What, so we're friends over there? We probably are, bro. What, what, we tend to reincarnate and come back into our, our family. You know, it's like our, our dogs can come, you know, they could be, you know, let's say your dad dies, he comes back as your dog, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it sounds crazy. Oh my God. It sounds crazy, but that, that that's how it is. So well, you I know, know Brian over the like, two, like you know, it, 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 it's a hard it's a hard pill to swallow, bro. But and, I mean, I, I'm just you saying, know, so and, and what, had, what about that poor well, person, too. bro? That is like you know, like flipping burgers, struggling, yeah. or cleaning toilets, or I mean, it's you know what I'm saying, like you know, like just really struggling, and that person is gonna be like, oh, you know what? It's all good because he's struggling in in a, in a virtual simulation. But the same way you're playing a video game and your character is struggling, but it had it, that's it's pretty had shitty some, of you to pick right. that kind of experience. It, but, but, but like, why not? It, why not pick, pick a, a nicer better one? Experience? You did pick it. Be because you did pick it in another life. Yes, you did pick it. <laughs> because maybe your 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 soul, your 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 true being, you know, that's that's whatever it's out there in that other dimension, yeah. wants that challenge, bro. You know, and it's like that's you. You know, it's like all all these people that have a very evolved consciousness of a very evolved spirituality they'll come and have these hardships here you know that that that's that's that they're 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 so caught their conscious is so evolved that they're coming for those experiences you know maybe but people that are, are spiritual beings that are not so evolved maybe they'll come here for i want to be a king consciousness or i want to be a sports star con you know can i accomplish that within this lifetime you know and you kind of see those those like to me i'll give you an example it's like with you know, with net maleness, I, I thought you know I was gonna come here and you know and and we were gonna you know we we're gonna produce movies and do all this crazy thing and you know a lot of things got in the way but and I think in reality what happened was is that you know when after I had my daughter and I noticed her her you know her discipline and her level of, of commitment of wanting to be a certain thing it's like I almost like I yeah your daughter's a pause in that right right I put yeah. a pause in that and I say you know what maybe my purpose here is to help the spiritual being reach that consciousness, you yeah. know? And then, and then maybe after I'm done with that, then I'll Which go is going to bring and, you a yeah. lot of joy. Joy, and, exactly, you know, right. you're going to so, see her get so, to that So that, that, that's the whole point. You come here, you got to find something that you love to do, bro. Mm. You know, mm. it, it's like, if yeah, you don't okay. find that, that love here, then, then you're not, you're, you're just, you're going against the current. I mean, I'm know? not going to lie, what you say resonates with me, you know, yeah. because I do, I do believe that when you do have passion, or when you do right. have a sense of accomplishment and passion together, you're less likely to be depressed and less likely to be unhappy. Exactly. People right. that have exactly right. Yeah. And you think about passion. there's a lot of people that are don't have the means that we do here in the in the United States, but they live so much happier through family and friendships, and they don't need all the crazy yeah, luxuries. Right. Yeah, that's actually a right. big thing. They found out that right. And, and that they're actually happier than a lot of Americans that are fucking stuck on drugs, bro. You know, yeah. and, and using. Fake stuff to, to 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 get their you know their emotional highs you know yeah um yeah no they, they've done studies on that where they've where they found out that people that live in communities and are in supportive communities right. they live longer and happier um, versus people you know that live in you know big cities and make big money um, no so I look and that's what I'm saying so I I do agree with that when it comes down to 
Right, um, but, but I, I understand, and, you know, and I felt the way, it's like, for you, it's a very hard pill to swallow that when you die, you're not going to see your parents, you're not going to see all those people that you loved, you know, and I feel sad about that too, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it, 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 this is not me, I say to myself, this body, this costume that I'm wearing right now, it's just, you know, it, it, I am me is my energy, my consciousness, which is so outside. your love for your family only exists here, but it, when no, no, you go back, right. it doesn't exist anymore. When we go there, see, over there, there is no male and female, there's no man and woman over there, there's just spirits, right? I could come here and be a man, I could come here back and be a woman, bro. So, over there, you got to think about it, we're all like kind of brothers and sisters, bro, you know, and then we have. There's a close niche of spirit. When we come here, we decide to interact with each, with each other, other and like you know, yeah, and have a good. So like, yeah, exactly right. So, so we come. Think about it like this, and, and which is I've come to Sick. terms. I've come to terms to, with this, and this is how I feel good about it. Is that in our, my next lifetime, my brother, my mom, my best friend, maybe my wife, maybe my daughter. So it's the same. Like, yeah players but same players actors, in different, different parts. yes it's like we play the game together we like to play the it's game called, together it's called a soul tribe yeah soul time we, we like to Thank play you, the Lina. game together For those so are group, there's, there's there's soul groups right they stick together up there that come back here and stick together and do things together as family members as good friends as you know as pets as you know people that are connected here are connected up there for sure bro and when that's you say up there, that's like basically we're we're having that other dimension where where it's it's beyond our simulation, you know, he, the, the, here the, here you know. the the the, the spiritual being right, this right. Simulation. The, the dimension that controls this simulation, right? Wow. If you think about it, it, it just gotta make sense, bro. Because like you know, and that's and and God is really it's not an entity. God is just everything, you know. That that kind of like just controls it all. You know, God could be just a consciousness. It doesn't have to be. We are God expressing ourselves as human beings. You know, we're, we are part of God. We are part of that consciousness. Well, I mean, what can I say, man? It's a very weird. It's a hard you, pill to uh, swallow, bro. But I don't even know what to say. I'm like, you know, uh, it, you know because you feel like, damn. I mean, it's like, think about it like this, bro. You say you have a wife, right? You most love. God forbid. Right. But yeah, and then she okay. dies, for example. She very dies, nice. Right? High five. And, 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 then, and then after that, you marry somebody else who's just, just as a wonderful person. Okay. Right? So then when you guys die and you go to heaven, who do you stay with? Your first wife or your second wife? They're both great people. You can't. That's a human concept, bro. That's why up there it doesn't make sense, bro. You're saying so that, that way, like up yeah. there, there's no, no gender. There, there is there's no, there's no gender. No. There's no, you know, it's everybody's like, there's groups, souls of groups, for sure. But right here, we come here and express ourselves in all these different forms, bro. And that's why it's a playground. That's why it's it's a place to experience and grow. And, and, and this, that's how... If we are part of the universe and that God consciousness, that's how it evolves by using us to learn faster of itself, which Nassim Haramein says, you know, we are like, like uh, tentacles of, of God looking back at itself, learning from itself to uh, evolutionize and evolve faster and to organize better and lower our entropy. Very weird concept. But. Um, fuck, I, I mean, where do... Where does my ego fall in all of this? <laughs> Isn't this not about uh, me? It's not about you, bro. It's, it's not, not about, about me. You. It's not about. It's uh, not. Like it's, it's really, really not, bro. It's at the end of the day, it's about. Doesn't love. my pain it's, mean anything? It, it, it comes. Up, there's fear and love. You want to move towards love. You know, community, things that you know, working together. That's what it's all about, bro. And that's doesn't that's my pain mean anything? It do, it does mean right now in this this time, you know. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter when you, when you know they say when you're on the other side. You don't feel that pain. Everything feels good. So it's so easy, bro. You know, so you come here to kind of get that thrill, you know, of that, you know, of feeling fear. You know, it's like you want to go because those are experiences that make us wiser, bro. It's like you can have all the knowledge in the world, have all the book knowledge. But if you don't have the experience, you're not going to evolve. Experience matters, bro. And that's how things happen in this world, which is a reflection of that world, that the more you experience, the more experience you get, the wiser you become, and the better you get at it. You know, it's like, you, yeah, you can read about it, but you got to experience it to, to condition and, and become better at something. You know, well, and it, and it's, I mean, shit, it's, mic it's, drop. I mean, I couldn't hmm? have yeah, said it better. Yeah. I couldn't have said it better. Um, um, we're we're going we're gonna to end it on that note, you know. Um, 
Wow, Louis, yeah. once again, you uh, have managed to um, officially <laughs> mindfuck me, and I'm sure anybody else there you that's go. Yeah, I'm because, sure. You're not uh, I don't any know questions. if I'm confused. Make sure you or just put them on the comments, right? On board, it's, it's, or if you I'm just not, have to, like, or you know what? What's, take some shrooms and think about it. Bro. You know, now now sure, that you understand of it, course. when you're in that state of mind, you don't comprehend of it better. Of course, and I you think know? about it. You know, but right. you know, when the way you put it, and you're like, yeah, this, that, yeah. you know, just kind of like. It's it's Maybe. it's kind of like yeah you know it, it, I felt sad about it and it was like damn I'm not gonna be with my family later but we'll, it we'll, all makes we'll, sense bro we'll, we'll we'll touch on this uh, right. on the next episode all are right. you gonna be here for the next episode I think I will yeah yeah, yeah. I might stop nice. by yeah, yeah, yeah. Farrah once you know. again I mean who the fuck yeah. knows where she is exactly you know right? like and I'm gonna put my two cents in on the next episode <laughs> on that one for sure but anyways. Uh, Judas, thanks All again right. for coming in tonight. Everybody, thank you again on the Audible, on Apple, on Spotify, on Google, YouTube, everyone else, everywhere else that you listen to us. Uh, and we are out. Bye. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs>